If you haven't been here before, welcome to the eBusiness Boss channel. My name is Nick. If you're a subscriber here and you've watched a load of my videos, hello again. Today, I'm going to show you guys how you can create a Shopify store for your Amazon business step by step. So this video is going to help you whether you're selling on Amazon in the US or even outside of the US in Europe. Uh, I'll show you the different ways you can build out your Shopify store and then actually connect uh, so that your Shopify and your Amazon business can go hand in hand. And I've seen great results from doing this myself. And yeah, I think it's a brilliant way to diversify your business. So I've made quite a few notes as we go through and I've got a load of information to show you. I'm pretty confident that if you watch this video from beginning to end, carefully listen and make note of a few things that I've said, uh, you'll be able to do this no problems at all. So it really isn't difficult. If you are new here and you haven't subscribed yet, well, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications bell, and that way you'll be the first to know about useful videos just like this. And we drop useful videos like this every single week, so you won't be disappointed. If you've got any questions as I go through, leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help you out. Right, let's get into this. So to start things off, I've just created a checklist. Before I show you how to actually build your Shopify store, you're going to need the following things. First of all, you're gonna need a free trial of Shopify. Now there's a link where you can grab a free trial of Shopify in the description below. So if you haven't yet got Shopify, go down and grab that. If you have already got Shopify, then you don't have to worry. Um, you can just use this video as a useful resource. Bear in mind, if you do use my link uh, for Shopify, I will make a commission and it's how we, we keep this content coming on the blog and the YouTube channel. So get your free trial of Shopify. Next up, you're gonna need products stocked and ready to go. So I've said you're gonna need them stocked, but you might well have products on the way into Amazon FBA or to wherever you wanna send them out from. So as long as you know what you're gonna sell, uh, you're ready to go. Next up, and lastly, you're gonna need an Amazon seller account. So you're gonna need a professional seller account. And if you're watching this, I'm gonna assume you've already got one of those. So once you have the above, we're ready to move on to the next step. How does this work? So it's very, very simple. So first things first, you're going to need to build your Shopify store. So this is gonna be your very own store, your very own website. And it's a really, really powerful asset to have. Next, you're gonna to have to integrate Shopify, your Shopify store with Amazon. I'll talk to you about how you can do that shortly. So once you've done that, you're going to need to connect Shopify to FBA fulfillment. So I'm also gonna show you how to do that. Uh, and once you've done that and you're connected and ready to go, all you need to do is drive traffic to your Shopify store. So the reason a lot of people do this is because if it's your own store, you have much more control. So you don't have to pay Amazon's referral fee. Uh, obviously you'll have the cost of driving traffic in the first place, unless you've got your own audience, um, but it's your own store. Uh, you have much more data on hand. Um, it's much easier to retarget customers and build a list of your own customers that you can market to on repeat in the future. It's a great thing to do. So let's start with building your Shopify store. So I've actually put together a well, 12 minute video, but I, build a Shopify store from scratch in about 10 minutes. So once you've finished this video, uh, and I really would advise you to watch this all the way through first, watch the step-by-step -step tutorial I've done. So I literally show you exactly how to do it over my shoulder and it's everything you need to know about setting up a very basic Shopify store that looks really good. And you could start selling straight away with that store. So you'll see a link uh, above and yeah, make sure you come back or head over onto our Shopify list on our channel, our playlist, and watch that video when you're ready to build your store. Once you've got Shopify, you're going to need to connect. Um, so you're gonna to need to actually activate Fulfillment by Amazon so that your Shopify store has the capability to talk to Amazon FBA. Your store is where people are gonna come and shop. Amazon FBA stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. So they're gonna hold your stock and send it out to your customers on your behalf. So it's really easy, the steps to do this. Now I'm gonna leave a useful link in the description below to help you with this, but very simple. Once you've got your Amazon seller account, go to the link you can see on screen here. And once you're there on the Amazon Marketplace web service, you just follow the instructions and it will link your Shopify store with your fulfillment by Amazon account. Once you've done that, it's very, very easy to do. Click continue and you're done. So the only thing you'll have to remember to do is add to your Amazon shipping rates and make sure you've accounted for them because 
Amazon are going to be handling your ship shipments for you. You're still going to have to pay pay them through your Amazon account. So make sure you understand how much it's going to cost and yeah, set that so that you completely understand your margins. So definitely do that. Okay, so for anyone selling in the US, integrating Shopify with Amazon is much easier for you. So you can do it if you're outside the US. It's not difficult, but it's just a bit more straightforward for you guys. So once you've added fulfillment by Amazon uh, as a integration, the steps you can see on screen are, these are the steps for configuring new products. Now, if you already have existing products in your Shopify store, it's very easy again to connect and change the fulfillment options to Amazon. So there's a drop down uh, menu on there. So when you're adding a new product, scroll down to the shipping section and just select Amazon Marketplace Web from the Fulfillment Service dropdown. So it's really, really easy to do. The article you'll find in the description it will be step by step how to do this. So check it out if you get stuck. Um, but yeah, you just change your shipping options to Amazon FBA. So it's really, really easy. Uh, make sure you enter all your usual stuff, the weight. Okay, so for US sellers, yeah, you can connect directly to Amazon FBA. Unfortunately, Shopify and Amazon don't yet give that option to European Amazon sellers, um, which is annoying, but there's been a way around it for a long, long time. So you're going to need an app, and I've taken this snippet from one of the Shopify forums. So for any of you EU Amazon sellers, like I say, you're going to need this app, and this, this person sums it up. So what he said is, we use it heavily. Uh, it's not true Shopify is only for small sellers. So even big companies can that are, have a huge presence on Amazon can and should be using Shopify uh, to diversify and bring more income into you, into their business. So uh, a lot of people like it. A very good reason for that. So they've got several Shopify sites on their own domains in the UK, Spain, France, and Italy. And they fulfill all orders by Amazon's multi-channel fulfillment. There are apps, and I'm gonna show you which app I use to allow you to use Amazon FBA with Shopify in each marketplace. And I understand what he's saying here because when I was looking this up, a lot of people were complaining and saying, oh, the, the processing fees are so high with Shopify, they charge you 2%. Well, yes, that, that's correct, they do. But Amazon's 15% referral fee, and it can be a bit higher depending what category you're selling, is much more than that. And you're building your own database of customers it's much easier for you to add a pixel to your Shopify store and retarget anyone coming through on Facebook or wherever you'd like. So there's so many reasons to do it. Um, and he said there, and we'll touch on this at the end, they drive their traffic to their Shopify store via Facebook, Instagram, and Google Ads. So it really is something you should all be doing um, because it just gives you a little bit more control. If all of your eggs are in one basket with Amazon, if something happens, then you're going to be relying on them. Uh, and them alone and you're going to leave yourself exposed so another thing i'll mention is that if you are an fbm seller you can still do this you're obviously just going to be holding the stock yourself and or you're going to have uh, an external company holding it for you it doesn't have to be amazon and you can connect to them using an app uh, like the one i'm going to talk to you about shortly so even if you do both fba and fbm you can use apps sync and integrate all of your stock and send out the relevant orders in the relevant place. So it's easy to do. If you do sell on Amazon outside the US, there, there are a few different apps you can use. I have always used Orderdesk, so it's orderdesk.com. I'll leave a, a link below. And yeah, they make it really easy. Shopify, add Orderdesk as an app, connect to Amazon FBA, and any orders that come in to Shopify will be processed, assigned, and sent to Amazon FBA. So you're not touching anything. You're not having to go and manually export orders and send them out through Amazon FBA. It's all done on autopilot. The other thing I really like about Orderdesk is that they actually allow you to integrate with a lot of other marketplaces. So let me jump into another screen and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is Orderdesk, and as you can see, they integrate with much more than just Shopify and Amazon. So Etsy is another big store. So if you sell, you know, quite arty, crafty products, or your product just suits it, Etsy is a very powerful marketplace. Same goes for eBay. Uh, so there's two marketplaces there. So if you think about it like this, you already have a very valuable relationship with your supplier. You've created a product that's obviously in demand. So I say that on the assumption that you're selling products on Amazon. 
uh, to great effect. So if that's the case, well, if people are buying them on Amazon, it's no different on another marketplace. Etsy, yeah, a little bit different. Different marketplaces will be different, but all I'm saying is if people like your products on Amazon, they'll like them elsewhere as well. So why not get your products in front of as many people as possible and you'll make much more. Simple. So we got Etsy, eBay, um, Walmart, uh, Jet. There are absolutely loads. And whether or not you don't want to use Shopify, um, yeah, there, there's loads of stuff. Obelo for anyone drop shipping. Um, it's a very, very powerful integration to have. So I thought I'd mention that. It's something we use. People ask me a lot. How can you connect Shopify to Amazon EU FBA? Use Autodesk or a similar app. Let's jump back into the slideshow. You can take the steps that I've laid out so far. Uh, if you're a little bit lazy, or maybe you've got loads and loads of Amazon products already, you probably don't want to take the time manually adding all of these products. So if that's the case, you can actually do it automatically. It will cost you, but it's quite a efficient way to do it. Um, you can pull a lot of the data you already have inside your Amazon business. So. I pulled this question from uh, one of the Shopify forums. So is it possible to migrate Amazon FBA products to a Shopify store? I'm on a 14 day trial of Shopify and would love to easily migrate my FBA products to the new Shopify store. Yes, it's very easy to do that. So the tool I've heard a lot of people using is called Lit Extension. So I'll leave a link to that in the description below. I think depending how many products you've got i know for about 500 products you'll be paying about 250 dollars for the migration and it takes about three days but it's an option if your time is valuable uh, which if you've got an amazon business i can assure you it is if it's successful um you can consider using something like that uh, or start small and do it yourself up to you maybe you've got a va that can do it that's up to you so once you've done and once you've connected we need to start driving traffic so I will say, if you've got any questions about how to connect, leave a comment below and I will try my best to help you out because it isn't difficult. Um, you just need to take a little bit of time. You, you know, you don't need to hire anyone to do it. If you're fairly good with a computer, you can do it, no problem. Let's talk about driving traffic because this isn't something I thought about when I first started Shopify, but you should think about it because it's going to determine how many sales you make. Using Shopify, you can enjoy more of the profit. So you guys know that by now, we don't have to worry about Amazon's referral fee. That 15% can go a very, very long way. But you will need to assign some budget into your marketing, so driving traffic. A few of the ways I've done it uh, in the past, and yeah, um, probably my favorite is SEO and content marketing. So basically, Shopify give you the offer to build out a blog and a lot of the sales we make on our own Shopify store are actually just through content marketing. So put out useful articles that, informational articles that your product can solve the solution that the article is talking about. So if maybe there's a problem like, or my dog eats its food too quickly, maybe you sell a slow feeder. Uh, you know, a special type of bowl with all grooves, which means they can't eat it very quickly. So you could write a long article about, you know, best practices for dogs that are fussy eaters. Um, and in there, you can obviously link to your product on your Shopify store that answers the uh, question or the problem that they've got. Be in the business of problem solving. So content marketing, I love it. Uh, it does take a lot of work. Uh, you need to be into writing or have a team of writers, which we have. Um, but yeah, Google AdWords, uh, nearly as good as Amazon PPC, in my opinion. Um, Google Shopping, Google AdWords, they're, they're great places to drive traffic to your Shopify store. Facebook, so whether that's a Facebook group, um, you're har harvesting a community of people, or Facebook ads. If you're creative, you've got a product that works really, really well with, with video ads, and you can make it you know, almost go viral, uh, you can make a lot of additional sales. Instagram, very popular. Instagram story ads are still incredibly underrated, uh, in my opinion. YouTube, so useful videos about your product or the problem that they solve and add your product in as a solution. Or team up with YouTube influencers and get them to do it. So the other option, which I really like as well, is building a subreddit. So really to grow a subreddit, all you have to do is fill it with useful links and content and answer people's questions. 
build a community of people that are engaging and Reddit will share your subreddit around and you quite easily gain subscribers. Email marketing. The reason Shopify is so good is you can collect customers' emails. So if you're in Europe, make sure you're you know, doing everything within GDPR, uh, you're protecting your customers' data. But when someone places an order on Amazon, Amazon will encrypt and protect their email because it's their data you're selling on their website. With Shopify, you're selling on your own. Much easier to build an email list. And when you want to sell some products, send out a 10%, 20% promotion and you'll pull in a load of sales. So hopefully that was helpful. Now, if you've got any questions or feedback on this video, I would love to hear it. Uh, if you're struggling, let me know. This is what this channel is about, guys. It's about helping you out. We're learning a lot as we go along and we want to try and pass that information on to you guys where we can. So if you've got any questions, let me know. So I'll just finish by saying Shopify is a great way to diversify your business and to take more control. That, for me, is the fundamental reason why you should build a Shopify store. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, guys, remember to like and subscribe. There'll be more useful videos coming from us very soon. Thanks for watching.